ABC show number 149, TWP 79, $20,000 pyramid, production 1362, VTR 8979, take one. in the air, I can feel it. Joan Crawford over here is gonna do it. Why is it all you girls got the shoulder pads on? I'm uh, playing football this afternoon. Look, no, it's everywhere I go. Every, a woman, has their um, It's for the look, Dick. You're too young to remember that the first time around. That's my problem. I remember it the first time around. <laughs> How are you, Dee? Very well, thank Have you, you met your partner yet? This is what? Patty O'Donnell. Patty, uh, it says here on my on my card, you are a wife and mother. Yes. How old are your children or child? I have one, baby Lee, named. Uh, she's seven months old, and her name is Lee. Lee. What's your name? Lee. Lee. Uh huh. We'll dedicate this game to Lee, whether win, lose, or draw. Yeah. We'll, we'll do this one for Lee. <laughs> Jackie Cohen's back to compete against you. Uh, forgot you're a salesman of uh, envelopes. Envelopes. Yes. Which is right? Envelopes. Uh, envelopes. I don't know. I'm so confused as to which to use. But <laughs> envelope sounds fancier, so why not? Then you're in the envelope business, of course. Right. Bart, how are you, sir? Could you fill here for a second? My brother just walked in. I'm a little floored. <laughs> is Didn't he sitting in the front row staring at you? Yes, there he is. He's, he's, so when did he become Abe Lincoln? I knew him when he was clean-shaven. Long time, beard. Hi, Chuck. Julian, good to see you. You're, okay. I should, ex should explain to the uninitiated that your brother's a very well-known television motion picture producer, and he's, you better do well. Certainly There's not. added pressure in that corner. Ladies and gentlemen, take a look over here. We have pros and cons. I beg your pardon. Pros and no cons. The show must go on on the up and up heat wave, one on one, deep purple. We start with a new player. That team is headed by Dee Dee Khan. One on one, please. One on one. Remember the seven situations should it arise. Possible bonus. Patty, she's going to describe these things associated with basketball. Okay. You've got 30. You knew that, eh? I thought It makes so. you happy? Yeah. All right, you've got 30 seconds. You may not use a word or form that's in the answer unless it doesn't convey the essence of the answer. If it does, that little guy shouts at you. Okay. These are things associated with basketball. Ready? Go. Uh, the place where you work out in school. Gymnasium. Uh-huh. Uh, when you're Dribble. bouncing it. Right. Uh, the man who's in charge of the whole team, and he gives... Oh, the coach. Right. Uh, the... The, the basket. The yeah. uh, backboard. No, the little thing. The hoop. Yeah, no, the, the uh, what drips down from the hoop. Oh, uh, the net. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, this is when, you, when you, you're bad, when you've done something. Foul. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the Harlem... Globetrotters. Uh-huh. Uh, this is the big place on 30th Arena. Uh, Street. Oh, Madison Square Garden. Mm. You got it, ladies. Seven out of seven on basketball. <laughs> You're, you're My husband's a basketball freak, so I know I everything. I wondered why on earth the girl who looks like this normal, pretty lady was you? Don't basketball? be a chauvinist, yeah. Richard. No, I won't. <laughs> Careful. Well, I mean, they, well, I better shut up while I'm <laughs> while I'm not ahead. Which one do you want? We're gonna take heat wave. Uh, okay. Describe for your partner Bart these things associated with a fever. Things associated with a fever. Ready? Go. You take your temperature with thermometer. Uh huh. Uh, this is what you take when you have a headache, a pill. Aspirin. Right. Um, you're not feeling well, you're... Sick. Right. Okay, this is what you have, the Asian or the Russian... Flu. Right. This is when you sweat, you... Perspire. Right. This is, you're really hungry, you... You're starving. Right. This is, uh, I give you an alcohol... Rub. Rub down. Right. There it is. It's ten seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Boys against the girls, it's all tied up, and Patty, you have the choice. Let's try on the up and up. Yeah. All right. Please describe these things that climb. Things, things that, that climb. climb. Uh -huh. Ready? Uh -huh. Go. Okay, um, a pussy. A pussy. Cat. Okay. Okay, he, he robs your house. He's called a cat burglar. Okay. 
Okay, a big monkey is called a, a gorilla. big monkey, a bigger one. An a ape. big one, right, uh-huh. Okay, Robin and... Okay, Robin and he's a, a superhero. Superhero. Robin. Blank and Robin. Oh, Blank uh, and Robin. He's a superhero like a su super Oh, Batman! Right, right. right. Okay. Oh, a sky. It goes up in the air. A sky. Rocket. Right. Okay. Okay, in San Francisco, you ride a what? You ride car. A, what's another word for? Uh, uh, wait, what car? A, oh. Uh, oh, streetcar. Okay, cable car. We lost a little of the momentum there that time, ladies. Still got a good score, however. 12 to 7, and Jackie has the choice. Uh, let's try the show must go on. All right, we're still... Uh, I was going to say we're still looking for the 7. We know all, we no longer are looking for the 7. Bearing, seven seven bearing in mind you... from earlier in the week that actors are not part of a theater. I just sort of went... Oh, you're going to throw that back in again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the judge has a long memory. I think that was Monday. Never mind. We were haggling over that. Describe, I, I should reiterate here, seven out of seven is a $500 bonus, Jackie. Describe these shows that have a one-word title. These are shows that have a one-word title. Ready, go. Um, this is the guy who sucks your blood, Dracula. Um, this is this, hair. Um, not a cab, but a taxi. This is the John uh, Travolta, Libby Newton-John movie. It's in your hair. Grace. Um, this is the Alex Haley book. Roots. Um, this is the show you're on, uh, Vegas. And this has come to the cabaret. We got it. You know, five hundred dollar bonus. You talk about going him, so forget Dick Clark. I, mean, I, I noticed that momentary pause. Sand, the desert. show you're on. Uh, duh. <laughs> Fourteen to twelve. Patty and Dee Dee. Uh, Deep Purple, please. Uh, you now have a choice, by the way. Yes. You got it. Yep. Describe these things that are purple or can be purple. Okay. Things that are purple or can be purple. Ready, go. Uh, you, wine is made out of them. Grapes. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, what you put your pen into. To Ink. Mm -hmm. Inkwell. Uh, these, these. Veins. Mm -hmm. uh, when you punched in the. A black eye. Mm -hmm. uh, the, a kind of flower that's really. Lilac. Mm. Uh, uh, it's a stone that's, it's, it's a kind of oh, color geez. of your dress. Uh, lavender, lavender. It's a type of stone. Next oh, one, go ahead. please. Uh, palm, uh, it's a kind of parmesan, but it's, you make it Real. out of a vegetable. Uh, no, oh, eggplant. Right. You got it, ladies. That's uh, all we have. Amethyst. Uh -huh. It's 18 to 14. Jackie and Bart, two things happening here. You've got the screen where you want it. You need 19 points to win. If you get 21 points, it's a $1,000 bonus. If you want to skip any, Jackie, you may. On the other hand, Bart, in order for him to get it, you've got to pick him up on your own before the time runs out. Okay. Reiterating, 19 wins, 21's a bonus. Describe these things that begin with the letters P-R-O. These things begin with the three letters P-R-O. Ready? Go. Um, th this is a, a kind of uh, religion that came from England. Not uh, Catholics, but Protestant. Um, this is a gain of money. It's a, not a loss, but a, um, the opposite of loss is go to the go next on. one. Um, this is, uh, it comes from meat. It's a kind of nutrient in meat. Protein. Um, this is you swear or make a... Promise. Yes. Um, this is a guy who searches for gold. Prospector. Yes. Um, this is a TV show or a... Program. Yes. And this is, I'm trying to solve this mathematical... Problem. Yes. Now, don't say anything more. Uh, I, I don't know. What was the one you used? Profit. Profit. Well, what about profit loss? Uh, the important part is, men, you won the game. You're going to try now for $15,000. Have you discussed how you want to play yeah. sitting? Yeah. Let's get over there and hop into your chairs. You can see how Purina Puppy Chow helps a puppy grow on the outside. But even after he starts to look full grown, he isn't because inside his bones and muscles are still growing. So he needs the kind of extra nutrition that's in Purina Puppy Chow puppy food for a full year till he's full grown outside and inside. Puppy Chow for a full year till he's full grown. Are they ready? Almost. Danish rings. They look bakery fresh. They taste bakery fresh. But you can't get them at any bakery. Then where do you get them? From Kellogg, in the toaster pastry section. 
Hey, the crust is sure tender. Real fruit filling. Danish rings. You sure you didn't get them at a bakery? They look bakery fresh. They taste bakery fresh. Danish rings. From Kellogg's. And your toast. Jackie, you've won $1,200. This gentleman seated in this chair hit us for 20000 bucks earlier this week. Only the situation reversed. You played that No, way. it was here. Was it here? It was here, yeah. Wow. Is that why you made this decision? Uh, that's, yes. Well, that's the reason. reason. <laughs> Whoa. All right, you're going to try for $15,000. Please don't use your hand to give a list. You know all of that stuff. Play, mm -hmm. Run the buzzer by once. That means a mistake has been made. If I say to you, would you like to go on, that's a hint the clock is running. Concentrate, gentlemen, for $15,000. Here's your first subject. Go. Um, two pairs of animals, twins. Um, go on. Um, because you don't tell the truth why you lie. The eighth, uh, Armstrong Henry's. Shaving lotion. Um, Things that are foamy. Wall paint. Things you... No, go ahead. Wall paint. Shaving lotion. Things you brush on. Things you use a brush for. Knees. Thighs. Parts of the leg. Knickers. Um, ankles. Uh, bony parts. Um, I think erogenous zone. Things you rub. Things um, you... Uh, shins. Things you... Go yeah. on. Um, smoke, pipe smoke. Sorry. Uh, the curl. You know, don't turn around yet. We'll play out a little bit. The one that killed you was the first one, which normally you get and go on, and if you get discouraged with it. Two gorillas, two hippopotamuses. Things on the ark. Uh, the one you were fooling around with knocks me for a loop, too. <laughs> now, what did you say? You said knees, you said knickers? He, he described a lot of parts of the body. He described some clothing. Uh, some belts. What? Dirty two. Your hips. A bikini. Where are all of these things? Oh, wonderful. Oh, things below the belt. Yeah, mm -hmm. wow. Below the waist, they would have hung you with. They wanted waist. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The and the last one, things that are puffed. You pick up another $200 and we'll be back with the rest of the game in a moment. It's all right. It's all right. Airwick presents some smelly reasons why you need a rug and room deodorizer. Rover, who's all over. The old fogey stogie. The damn musties. Once these odors get trapped in your rug, they're in your room. So you need Airwick Carpet Fresh. Just sprinkle Carpet Fresh powder on, wait a few minutes, and vacuum. It overcomes the source of odors in your carpet. Your room has a fresh, clean smell. Airwick Carpet Fresh, the rug and room deodorizer. Whoa, Nellie. Fancy decorations, Mary. Ready for Parents' Day? Well, could use a fancy dessert. Here's fancy. Pepperidge Farm Cake Supreme. Two new ones. Three moist layers with real fruit filling, red ripe strawberry, or juicy pineapple, topped with real whipped cream and coconut. Could I have another piece of both? Try any Pepperidge Farm Cake Supreme. Plenty fancy. Plenty good. Cause Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> takes off the hair so your legs feel baby smooth. And Nair's baby soft scent smells terrific, baby. Soft smelling Nair with baby oil. Nair for baby smooth legs. Get a little closer. Now don't be shy. You can get a little closer with Arid Extra Dry. Only Arid has this patent on an aluminum chlorhydrate formula. It fights wetness, and no leaning deodorant spray stops odor better. Get a little closer with Arid Extra Dry. Arid fights wetness. No leaning deodorant spray stops odor better. 
What? It's the $20,000 pyramid, well, and uh, I mean, Jackie Cohen that. this time will be trying for $20,000. Everybody's discussing all of these. i got to get over the subjects. Dee Dee, what are you doing this summer? Anything exciting or vacationing? Or just yes, I have a, a couple of things cooking I really can't talk about. But my brother's here, too. My younger brother, Andrew. Bertie, famous photographer. Is here we have a famous audience. photographer, and we have a famous producer in the audience related to both of our... No wonder none of you are doing well. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're doing very well. And you're going to start... I beg your pardon, you're not going to start our game. You're going to wait for the new contestant who flew in to be with us today. Hi. Iris Falk, where'd you fly in from? Beautiful downtown L.A. Were we on the same <laughs> flight together? <gasps> Gee, I didn't see you there in no. coach. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You will see me there and coach every time Mr. Stewart doesn't pay the bill to bring me in. That's the way it flies. Oh, that's a funny line. Bart, when does Vegas go back into production? We're in production now. We go back on, uh, the new shows go back on the air in September. But we are filming them now. Let us mention the network, the time, the place, all that stuff. ABC Wednesday night at 10 o'clock. You were invited to watch. You'll start the game in a second. Here are the subjects. On the skids, lend me your ears just for kicks. The deep blue sea, I'm fading fast. Aaron Gobra. What is your pleasure, sir? We will try just for kicks. All right. Describe these things that have a kick. Things that have a kick. <clears throat> Ready? Go. Uh, well, a little thing that's born is a baby. It, right? Um, it goes boom, and it's a, a weapon. Oh, uh, uh, you fire it against an enemy, and it's <clears throat> a bazooka. We'll skip it. Uh, not a donkey, not a jackass, but a mule. Uh, this is a karate chop. chop. Right. Um, a Mexican liquor. Tequila. Right. Um, the uh, football team that Joe Namath used to be the quarterback of. Oh, the Rams. Oh, no, he used to be the New, York, New York. The uh, New York football team. New York. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Iris, Iris. Hey, I have, a, I have a split citizenship. I live in L.A. and work in New York. I'm a former New Yorker. Oh, you can't say anything about the Rams in New York with Joe Namath. I mean, that's a no-no. Everybody knows he played for the Mets. <clears throat> <laughs> that's what I thought. He was, he was with the Jets. Dee Dee, what would you like? On the skids, please. On the skids? Describe these things that are slippery. Things that are slippery. Ready? Mm -hmm. Go. Uh, you wash with this ivory. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, a kind of pasta, the long string. Spaghetti. Mm -hmm. uh, a potato or a banana. Peel. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, very expensive clothes, smooth as... A silk. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a, not a snake, but an electric... A serpent, eel. Mm -hmm. uh, on a bathroom floor is... The... Tile. Mm -hmm. uh, you put, take off your makeup with this. It's not hot. Maxine, it's... a cold cream. Mm -hmm. That's it, for the choice. <laughs> Seven to four the score. Iris Falk has the choice now. Iris? Oh, lend me your ears. All right. Describe these things associated with an ear. Things associated with an ear. Ready? Go. This part here? The lobe? Yes. Um, what I have done here, two ear. on each. Um, pierced? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, oh, my favorite movie idol who was gone with the wind. Uh, <laughs> with the ears that went it's like this. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have such a head... Ache. Earache. Oh, and when I attend to what you're saying, I'm... Listening. And some people can do this with them. Wiggle their ears. And if I listen in, but I'm not really supposed to, I'm Here. kind of... Here, uh, eavesdropping. Uh, yes, mm-hmm. That's all and... we've got. Oh. <laughs> Iris, you picked up the, a little bit of the edge there, and we'll see what happens now when Jackie goes. Let's go with the deep blue sea. The deep blue sea. You, sir, are to describe these underwater objects. Underwater objects. Okay. Ready? Go. Um, an eight-legged an eight -legged fish. fish, yes. Um, this is what stabilizes a ship. Anchor. And, yes. Um, this is, comes out of a submarine. It's a missile. A uh, torpedo. Good. Um, this is a blank Dan. He went underwater. Diver. Yes. Um, uh, this is a coral edge. Reef. And this is the stringy stuff. It's green. Uh, it's underneath. It's like it's, it's a bad thing in your garden. Uh, weeds. Uh, what kind? It's, uh, it's the uh, deep blue... Seaweeds. Good. This is the <laughs> mythical... Oh. Oh. <laughs> the mythical iconic uh, 13 to 11. Uh, Iris, that score tightened up a little bit in your favor there. Uh, they're still discussing what they're going to do. What's the oh. choice? 
I'm going to leave is what we're going to do. Really? Um, Aaron Gobra. Aaron Gobra? Does anybody know what the free translation of that is? Can yes, but I can't say it on television. Oh. No, I, don't, I know it's an Irish phrase, but I... Aaron Gobra, you we'll, we'll get it before the day is over, for sure. Describe these famous Irishmen. These are famous <laughs> Irishmen. I can see Bart Braverman is deliriously happy over this Please. subject. Think positive thoughts. Famous Irishman. Ready? Go. Oh, he plays Archie Bunker. Uh, Carol O'Connor. Yes. Um, man's name of... Uh, uh, oh, Saint... Uh, Saint Patrick. Yes. Oh, the old variety show host. It's a really big shoe, and he was... Ed Sullivan. Out, yes. And uh, he has a talk show, and... Mike Douglas. Yes, uh-huh. And, oh, Singing in the Rain was with... Gene Kelly. Yes, uh-huh. And, oh, uh, Song and Dance Man, but he's also a gangster-type person. He did... James uh, Cagney. Yes, mm-hmm. And, oh, um, you're a grand... Oh, I'm a Yankee Doodle Bandit. Oh, too bad. James M. Cohan. Good job with the rough category. Uh, funny, the last two were sort of related, though. The Jimmy, uh, James Cagney and yeah, uh, Cohen. Time ran out. 17 to 13, there's a four-point lead there. Jack, you want to give a receive? I'll receive. Okay. Uh, Dee Dee, you need a score of 18 points to win. Describe these things that fade. F-A-D-E. Things that fade. They need 18 to try for the $20,000. Ready? Mm -hmm. Go. Uh, uh, not, uh, not a picture, but when someone... Photograph. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, when you, uh, sound resounds. Mm -hmm. uh, the stuff that they put on me before Makeup. the show. Mm -hmm. uh, blue... Uh, jeans. Blue uh, jungleries. jeans. What are they made out of? Denim. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a smell, an odor. Oh, an aroma. No, but it's... It, it, uh, a stink. Yeah, but, but it's uh, the uh, kind on. of... Go on, go on. Uh, not, not, uh, not a penny. One... Pen scent. Mm -hmm. You got uh, it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what was the scent? It was a scent, yeah. Iris, my dear, I'm sorry to have you fly all the way in for consolation gifts. I hope you have a nice little vacation. My pleasure. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to have you aboard. By the way, I should point out that we deal in sounds, and though that was scent, smell, scent, spelled differently, sounds the same. We can accept that answer. Let's go for the 20,000. Pillsbury bakes better tasting brownies than my Duncan Hines? And its flavor packet? Then my Betty Crocker with its can of flavoring? Sure. Let's see. Pillsbury Deluxe Fudge Brownies. No packets or cans. Pillsbury blends three rich cocos right into the mix. They're better tasting fudge brownies. Pillsbury tastes richer than mine. No chocolatey. And moister than mine. Taste Deluxe Fudge Brownies. You'll agree. The best word for brownies is Pillsbury. Marielle Hemingway in Manhattan. Mario, your skin, what do you use on your face? I just wash it. Just soap and water? Oh, no. I use Noxzema Skin Cream. Soap makes my skin feel dry. Noxzema makes me feel clean. Gets rid of all that oil and stuff. And that's all? You just wash with Noxzema? Yeah. And look like that. <sighs> Greaseless, medicated Noxzema Skin Cream. For good skin every day. For extra oily skin, get Noxzema Antiseptic Skin Cleanser. Here are the current readings under partly sunny skies, barometer 30.1. When you're out fishing, you count on your radio. So use the batteries you can count on, too. Duracell. Tests show that after regular carbon batteries wear out, Duracell keeps going strong. Because Duracell batteries last longer. And that means a lot. Whenever you use your radio. Duracell. The copper top battery. No regular battery looks like it. Or lasts like it. I like to begin my day with the fresh feeling I get from soap and water. But soap and water freshness lasts only a few hours. To extend that fresh feeling, I use FDS. FDS Feminine Deodorant Spray. FDS has a unique time-release formula that helps keep me feeling confident hour after hour. Feeling far fresher, far longer than plain soap and water. FDS. To extend that fresh feeling longer. Aaron Gobra, by the way, according to the world-renowned authority who works for us, Christine Flynn, I don't know how much she is, is Ireland uh, forever, oh. long live Ireland, so it's a free translation. Jackie, you're trying for $20,000. We're all going to root for you. Let's do it. Here's your first subject. Go. Pocahontas. Famous Indians. Please cut me a, a quarter pound of chopped meat. What you say in a butcher? What a butcher says. Cat. 
crabs, lobsters. Things with claws. A unicorn. Things with a horn. Bull. A dried scalp. Things that are itchy, flaky. Uh, uh. Visitor. Losers. Gamblers. Yeah. I thought this was to carry the money home with it. I heard a, I heard a buzzer. Does that mean I got trouble? Oh, all right. That means there is a discrepancy. There's a problem. I'm not going to find out what it is now. They're going to go to the commercial and I'll explain it. You might only know how really good Van Rolon is if you try something else. I found out the week we rented a cabin in the mountains. I remembered my hiking boots, but forgot my Van Rolon. My friend lent me her sure aerosol, so I used it instead. But it didn't keep me as dry as Ban Rolon. I'm told Ban Rolon keeps you drier than any leading spray. And I believe it. Ban Rolon. If you're using any leading spray, find out for yourself how effective Ban Rolon is. Here's a great idea. Potato peeler? Nope. Hair curler. It's Vanish Bow Freshener. Freshness and a snap. Snap it under the rim and it freshens two ways. It's always there to freshen. Then when water hits it, extra deodorizer and detergents are released, working best when and where you need it. When the bowl's fresh, the bathroom's fresher. Snappy idea. Vanish bulk freshener. Vanish for a cleaner bowl and a fresher bathroom. I have a terrible obligation to explain something to you, and I think you'll understand as it's been explained to me. If the category were losers, we could have accepted an unhappy Vegas visitor. It said famous losers. Famous losers calls for names like Richard Nixon, Warren G. Harding, the, the Mets, uh, anybody you can think of. Uh, that was the hairy borderline. We can't make that good because something like that will happen again. We must be consistent. Please know, we don't want to save the money. We've given away over six million bucks. It was nice to meet his family. <laughs> hey, let's hope they're back. We'll see you tomorrow. Today's consolation prizes are a five-piece Performa Gourmet cutlery set with sharp extra heavy gauge chrome stainless steel blades and ebony Fleetwood handles, all dishwasher safe from Washington Ford. And Surtz has flavor crystals for great taste, and Surtz with Retson keeps on freshening your breath even after 30 minutes. Plus colorful DuPont Lucite spray paint for adding decorated touches all around your home with Lucite spray paint to color it easy. Also, shout laundry soil and stain remover when you want a tough stain out. Saturate it, penetrate it, shout it out. And picnic time is easy with finger licking good Kentucky Fried Chicken. It's nice to feel so good about a meal. ABC still the one for comedy with the premiere of Benson. Starting his new job, taking care of a mansion, a little girl, and a slightly daffy governor. This is Benson from your cousin Jessica's family. You mean we're related? It's Benson. New this fall on ABC.